At this point, the whole lost and found motif seems completed. This family was separated, now they're back together. Everyone who was lost has now been found. Hiccup even gets to see his parents together for the first time. A new theme is introduced, and Lost and Found takes a break for a while. Next, there's a huge battle, the Alpha is killed, the new Alpha takes control of Toothless, and then... And this is the real reason for Lost and Found. Yes, it's true, over the course of this movie, Hiccup finds his mother and loses his father, but it goes deeper than that, too. The filmmakers made a very deliberate decision for this movie to age up the characters by five years, and it's even reflected in the marketing. Remember how I said Powell likes to write for story themes? Well, it seems like this whole coming-of-age angle was Powell's main takeaway from the story. He's stated in a few interviews now, including this one with Collider, that Lost and Found is actually about maturing and growing. According to him, it's supposed to be about how as you grow older, you find new skills and strengths, how you form new relationships, but it's also about the things you lose along the way. And I've just realized in researching this, this theme is Powell's response to the progression of the movies. It's something new he brought to the table to score this series as a gradual coming-of-age story. He used it to connect this recurring theme of Lost and Found with his own interpretation of the themes of the story. And it's as important in the climax as ever, because now in a new way, Toothless has been lost. This is the darkest part of the trilogy, and this song, Toothless Found, is all about pulling out of that, about reaching Toothless. So my friend I mentioned earlier pointed out to me that the harp plays both when Toothless is put under the trance and when he's taken out of it. This could just be a coincidence, I don't know, but it got me thinking about all the repeated material in this track. The voices and strings from Toothless Lost, the titles parallel each other, Toothless Lost and Toothless Found, and of course, when Hiccup reaches out to Toothless, it's Lost and Found that plays, using a very similar arrangement to the one from Losing Mom. Again, we hear the choir and the Celeste from earlier, plus the addition of the harp and the strings stirring underneath everything. Why reprise Losing Mom specifically? I'm guessing it's because they both start as a small, personal moment, and then they turn into something much bigger. builds here right up until they take flight again. Now that they're reunited, it turns into a battle theme, but from here on, it's different. There's more of it in the brass now. It's more rousing and more heroic than before. It's used to highlight Toothless's new abilities, and then finally, it plays when everyone takes a stand against Drago. Now, I know I've covered a lot already here, but I just have a few notes on the third movie I'd like to close with. The third movie is the end, 
so Powell decided to use the original themes very sparingly. That way they would have a greater impact when they are used, and that way he could use them in exactly the right moments. Not only does Lost and Found make a few more appearances, it's still very thematically relevant. Hiccup's whole character arc is about learning to let go, which is something he doesn't really understand until his flashback with his father, which, not surprisingly, is scored with Lost and Found. But with love comes loss, son. It's part of the deal. Sometimes it hurts, but in the end, it's all worth it. When it was time for Powell to score the end of this story, he realized he'd already written the material he needed, and that in hindsight, he always had a rough idea where this story was going. That it was always going to be about growing up and letting go. He always knew Lost and Found would be important, and it was just what he needed when it was time to say goodbye. And this time, he used it as the perfect opportunity to give a personal send-off. Hey, thanks for watching, and like I said earlier, all my sources are in the description. If you liked this, I have a couple ideas for similar videos coming up. Please let me know your thoughts and questions, and I have a question for you. How do you decide what a leitmotif is for? I'm really interested to find out. Thanks again.